did it. Guys, I have that song stuck in my head and it, every time I go to the story, there's somebody playing it. It's so annoying, I literally cannot get it, can't get it out of my head. But hey, what's up? Good afternoon, guys. It's Lydia, long time no see, long time no see at all. I have missed you, I promise. It's been, it's been a hectic few weeks of me doing a lot of traveling, doing a lot of work, doing a lot of planning. And to be honest, guys, when all of that is happening, it's so, so hard to vlog, especially when your camera is broken, guys. I have showed you guys this on Instagram. You follow me on Instagram at Lydia Dingard and you already know that I've been missing mostly because of work, but also because I literally physically could not record any vlogs because my camera broke. My camera broke when we were in Saudi and it's just, it's heartbreaking, but it is what it is, you know? Speaking of Saudi, let me just let you guys know here as well. If you don't follow me on Instagram, there is no Saudi vlog coming. Um, yeah. I really wanted it to, in fact, I recorded it and there was stuff that I could have shared with you guys, but it's just nowhere near the standard that I would be happy with, nowhere near what, no, honestly, I haven't even showed it to my boo. Like that's, that's where we are. That's how unimpressed I am with how I filmed everything. It was a very hectic trip. It was insanely back to back. There was literally no time to even stop and edit pictures or stop and share stuff on stories so that's why it was really hard for me to even to even keep up online you know crazy hectic schedule but yeah i'm really disappointed that there's no vlog coming from that but it's okay we move we move we literally move um this morning i'm feeling so well, this afternoon i'm feeling great because my new camera arrived it's literally what i'm using to record for you guys who might not know what camera it is it's the sony zv1 and as you can see it is my second one this has done me so much better than my g7x um the g7x was just nah i say that which is ironic because it's literally broken but it's only broken because i dropped it like a few times <laughs> And it has so much sand in it. Like it won't even turn on guys. At this point, it has so much sand inside it. Why is my camera doing that? But anyway, yeah, I've missed you. Let me know if you've missed me in the comments. And guys, if you haven't already, please be sure to like the video. It really, really helps your girl out by suggesting this video to other people who might like it. So let's go. Today I'm gonna to take you guys on a, I think I might do like a day in my life, afternoon in my life, evening in my life. Um, we have a few things to go. I have to go to a David Wedge, um, be when I have an appointment there. And then I might wanna do some bra shopping as well. And I think I'm seeing Busy tonight. So it's gonna be a busy but fun evening and I'm super excited for it guys. And I think we should just go, should we just go? I know it's been a while that we haven't chatted, but I feel like we're friends, we could just pack and go. Look at my gorgeous flowers that my sister bought me. So, 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 so beautiful. I love the fact that people buy me flowers. Like it really does help. <laughs> it really does help because yeah. Life is complete. Like life, life is hectic. That's what I'll say right now. Life is hectic and flowers help a lot. So if you want to send me flowers, I'll receive them. I will every single day. That will just make me happier, you know? Anyway, let's go and let's get to David Wedge for this appointment. <laughs> Met up with my boo. We're going to go to David Wedge, guys. I wanted to show you this place here. You see this pink place behind me? I feel like everyone knows about Elan Calf, but Elan Calf is actually black owned. Black owned business, you know? Oxford Circus. Right off Oxford Street, and it's pink and it's super cute in there. I absolutely love that for us. It's on Margaret Place if you've got looking for it. Um, yeah. David Wedge is next. We're, we go to this shop too often. <laughs> we go to this shop way too often. Like they have a lot of our business, which is kind of why we are going to see them today. We have a little bit of a business proposition for them and we're hoping that they'll be receptive to it. But I guess we shall see. One thing about us, we're gonna pitch. <laughs> we are gonna pitch. We pitch like every single day. Because you know, you gotta ask. In this life, the most somebody can do if you ask them is they can just say no. And like clothes mouths don't get fed. Clothes mouths don't get fed. Oiled wheels don't squeak. Oiled wheels don't yeah, oiled wheels don't squeak. All of them things there. You basically just have to be the person who's pushing for things sometimes, you know? So yeah, that's what we're going to do and I'll keep you guys updated. Don't let us just restrict to if you 
guys are having like a getaway or whatever. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Let's yeah, yeah. see. Don't worry. Yeah, do yeah, in terms of Don't you we're worry. To, a getaway? We're going to first week in April. Yeah. We're going to, a big part of what she does is travel vlog. So we're okay. in a different place. That's how we if did that. If you want to work together in regards to travel content, we can absolutely Even, do that. I was on the red carpet. In Egypt, Egypt red, wearing the hot one. Because they, they drew my attention to your page yeah. and they said well, they were going to post that there was two. one Inside video there. that the whole, I don't know whether it's real that you tagged us. Yeah. And when I said I fell in love with it, yeah. you know, things like that happen. That's why exactly. we're talking like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if more of that happens, oh. then exactly. um, I mean, you realize that so many things, yeah, so many things will be happening. So I got Boo this for um, Valentine's. I got, he got himself this beforehand and now he's about to get this one. This, it reminds me, I've just said it reminds me of the Made in Lagos cover. Do you guys know the album, Wizkid album? When it's got this, um, this little van. We call them Matatus in Kenya. I don't know what you guys call them all around, but they're like used as public transport. So yeah, he's going to get himself one of these. We are genuinely obsessed with David Wedge and thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good stuff? Absolutely. I love this place. I really yeah. do. I'm here all the time. Here all the but time. So, yeah. Very happy. Guys, we left David Wedge. That was such a positive meeting. Like we said, you go in somewhere and you ask and the worst they can say is no. But this time we got a... Usually they say yes. Come on. Usually you got a yes, guys. Our pitch went well. Our pitch pitched. <laughs> yeah, our pitch was successful. Our pitch pitched and we actually pitched to David Wedge, the owner of the shop himself. Yeah. So who said he loves the content that we've made. They've reposted some of our stuff on their page already. So Honestly. Thank God. <laughs> does he want to get into the shop? I was thinking, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there was a man who was like staring at <laughs> yeah, us like, dead in the like, eye. Like. And then started like moving towards me. I was like, <laughs> like gotta relax. Do you want to get in the shop? But yeah, no, we're very, very happy, feeling ecstatic about our proposition. And you guys will see all of the work. You'll see the you see the collaboration. Basically, that's what it is. I guess, duh. You'll and see the collaboration. And the best thing is, yeah. the hookup seems to be not just for the wedding, which yeah. is really the, what we went in for. Yeah. All this travel stuff. So if you see me in Swaggy Swaggy, shout out to David Wedge. And you know what as well, babe? What I love is the fact, even before they used to see your face, they always used to be like, oh, the, you, they'd compliment your two pieces. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, it's great yeah. to find the, the two pieces from a black owned store who we've shown so much love. You guys have seen how many times we've been to David Wedge. And then now they're also willing to work with us for our biggest, like our biggest, our biggest event in our <laughs> lifetime, you know? So feeling very, very happy, Absolutely. ecstatic. Um, now I need to go to Jessop's and run my mouth about my um, <laughs> about my camera. These lot, I'm a fight. I'm currently in Muji, guys. And I need to call Bissy back to drop her the news that I'm not going to Barry's. I'm meant to be staying at hers tonight. And to be honest, I don't mind going to Barry's just so long as I can go tomorrow morning and not tonight. Because tonight is my anniversary with my baby. Let me see if you'll excuse me. Hey, babes. What did you say? Barry's? Barry's. Barry's. <laughs> yes, I am coming to Barry's, but do you know what? Bissy, I can't stay around tonight. Okay, no worries. No I, worries. I can't stay around tonight, but I can come to Barry's for sure. Why don't you come and meet me, the one in Victoria? I'm going to the office tomorrow, so. You're at the office? Go here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just come to you. I'll come, I'll come and we can definitely do it. Guys, I'm telling my man I really want this, and he's like, okay. Okay, what do you mean okay? You should be like, yeah, baby, put it in the bag. Yeah, baby, put it in the bag. You can go pay for it. <laughs> so I have made it next to House of Fraser. I'm here to try on a bra. I absolutely detest bras. But I need to get a proper one. And shout out to Tony Tone. Tony Tone gave me the recommendation saying that Wonder Bras are the way to go forward. She always has her, her lady sitting. So I was like, girl, what you doing? What's the secret? She told me Wonder Bra. So I'm literally here. I'm literally here picking up Wonder Bras. But I'm also here to get my boobs measured and yeah better sizing so i have been bra shopping like i think a year two years ago beforehand but it's time to get them to get them remeasured because every time you know when you lose weight you gain weight you lose weight 
they fluctuate. So there's a service that you can go and get, come and get, and I'm in House of Fraser. Just put on this very grimy looking bra on me, but it's just to guesstimate what my proper cup size is. And then now she's gonna go outside and find my proper cup size. And I'm so happy because guys, I hate bra. <laughs> Guys, mission accomplished. I have got, well, actually half the mission accomplished. I've got my, my bra resized or my chest resized. Now I know what bra size I am, but I wasn't able to get the Wonder Bra that I was looking for. So instead, <laughs> I have a t-shirt bra and literally she tried it on me and I'm like, just take the tag off, leave a bra on. I'll be for the till because it fits so well and I'm really happy with this. Um, So now maybe my pop into Selfridges and see if they have a, do they have a Wonder Bra concession in Selfridges? I don't know, but I'm very happy with this t-shirt bra that I've got. It's, it's as comfy as, as bras get. It's like, it's not that comfy. Kitties are sitting. <laughs> they are sitting. I've just got a regular t-shirt bra, but I feel good about this. I feel very good about this. Yeah, what is titties? Yeah, it's great. What are you? 16 pounds, what a bargain. Hmm. Look at me and my raised titties. They look good, no? I've got a feeling I'm going to be hearing about this. You know, it's like, wait, look at my titties. Raised titties. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, we are now at ZZ's. Um, I actually got a ZZ's black card, which is pretty cool. It's my first ever restaurant black card ever. I'm really out here looking out for the Nando's one. If anyone knows anyone in Nando's PR, hit your girl up. <laughs> I really mean it. <laughs> I have a, let me show you my ZZ's black card. And it's only for like a few months, but each time you guys see me here at ZZ's, just know that I'm here on a gifted situation. Um, just try out their menus and see what I like. They actually have a pretty good, like, locale. Look at it, ZZ's black card, baby. I have like two more months of this, literally, so. Um, yeah, I get the prawn skewers and then I get like a salad and I add some halloumi and stuff, maybe some olives, you know. But like I said guys, tomorrow or rather tonight at midnight is actually mine and my boo's anniversary. Our two year anniversary. <laughs> this bottle keeps coming off. Um, so yeah, we're really excited and I'm just trying to decide whether I should have the cheat meal now or tomorrow because we have so many celebrations we have like a celebration on wednesday on thursday and on friday so i'm like maybe today should be the salad day it's not looking that way <laughs> i hope he's not watching this but yeah we are these is just off the circus are always a hit and they're nice and fresh and green and salty and then I got the the prawns on this skewer and a salad and I think all together it's like the salad itself is under 600 calories and then the prawns are just prawns so it's just protein so I had actually ordered the lasagna and then some people who were sitting on the table with me um, decided to go for something healthy. <laughs> decided, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Look, he's only having a plate of broccoli and what, babe? Kale. Kale and broccoli. Is this because you're getting married? That's what the spritz are saying. Oh, that's right. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my, my supper.
good. <laughs> These first two are really, really nice. My masterpiece. <laughs> I love these ones. These are kind of cute. Are you this is super cute. Wow. Wow. <laughs> nice stuff. So this is the best one. Look at all of this. afternoon guys good afternoon i'm just getting ready still in celebration mode oh my god yesterday was so much fun yesterday we celebrated our anniversary with a really nice casual day out <laughs> uh which was so so much fun oh my god we went like live art painting where there was a model in the middle who was live how can i say there's a model in the middle that was live obviously there's a model in the middle that was live and he was standing posing and we're in a dark room and then it, the person had like glow in the dark paint on them and they were also in the nude but it wasn't as weird as it sounds i promise you saying it out loud i was like live art painting model nude but it was so much fun so so much fun we really got to explore our artistic sides and it was so good to like meet all the other people who were also on the um who booked the experience um really good artists throughout the evening the main teacher would tell us like what style of drawing we should do so for example um using the crayons make sure that you only draw this person with straight lines right so you'd have to draw the whole thing with straight lines or for example don't take your pen off the page when you're drawing this drawing you know so there was different techniques and it was great to see how everybody else applied it to the same thing that we were looking at so funny as well because obviously you know not everyone's great at art but it was <laughs> it was really good fun we had so much fun and then afterwards we went for uh pizza in shoreditch yeah pizza east is a really great shout if you don't know where to go for pizza there's loads there's loads of spots but pizza east is always great so we went to pizza east and then that was our evening it was so cute great anniversary really chill actually it's a really good idea for a date if you guys are looking for something to do like an anniversary date and then now i'm just getting ready to go to another date this evening and i'm so excited i literally have no idea what we're doing so i wanted to um come and wrap up yesterday first um we're just gonna be celebrating all this weekend one thing about me and my boo we're gonna celebrate <laughs> oh we're gonna celebrate we're gonna make time for that <laughs> so um yeah and actually i got a new package my nadine marabi um outfits came should i unbox okay one sec let me see but my makeup is oh i know that i definitely want to wear one on friday so on friday i have something planned for us um i have us booked in at the heart hotel in shoreditch so i'm really really looking forward to that and i was planning on wearing medine marabi outfit there but oh, maybe maybe tonight too hmm. but it's just like it's thursday do i want a medine marabi on a thursday because they're really super glam outfits you know but yeah i just wanted to come and catch you guys up on everything um highly recommend what we did yesterday that was so much fun i will definitely be doing that again we love a creative date we just love when we can go and make something do something um and then reflect and it also just shows you what kind of person that you're with as well you know whether they can take themselves like not so seriously whether they can laugh at themselves this is all important stuff as well you know oh not the ages yes baby but yeah let me just get ready and then um i'll show you guys my final outfit before we head out for dinner but i'm sure by that time it will be dark because oof, one thing about this house the lighting in here ain't here never has never will never won't i'm wearing my um dressing gown from when i went to stay with the room and the sleepover oh my god guys i forgot to say before i head off i wanted to say i know at the start of the vlog i said that there's no saudi vlog coming however i basically spent so much time yesterday afternoon putting together a series of stories so there's like a whole highlight that i have pinned on my instagram which basically recaps my whole saudi trip so yes there is no saudi vlog still coming however there is basically a super fun like detailed recap on my instagram so go and click over there to go and see 
all of the bits that I got up to in Saudi. If you guys want to know what I got up to, I got quite a few people saying thanks for putting it together, um, which I really appreciate. I appreciate when you guys appreciate me. I actually think that's one of my love languages. I think um, words of affirmation is like literally number two, if not number one. So, but loves that. Anyway, let me carry on getting ready. Not me getting ready with time. This is how you know I'm excited. I'm very excited about this one. I'm currently wearing a black dress that's got some design at the back, but I think it's, I'm actually wearing it the wrong way around, but I don't want to have the babies out, so I'm just going to wear it like this, the wrong way around, with the detail at the back instead. Just a simple plain black dress, that's what I'm going for, but this could change everything. I can see feathers and tassels already. Oh. So inside there is a dust bag and a note. It's so excited to be able to have you in Merabi as usual. We've got a YouTube class to get to you guys. YouTube Black Voices class again this afternoon. Okay, this is just about returns and stuff. Okay, cool. So it is just the one dress and it's the pink one. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's a mini pink dress. This looks so cute on the website. Ooh, what size is this? <gasps> what size medium? I hope this fits. Oh, this looks a little bit big. No. This is what I'm planning on wearing on um, Friday, because on Friday we're going to be staying at the heart. So excited, but I really hope this fits. Oh my gosh, what? Um, anyway, I'll try it when I get back. My battery is flashing, camera is about to be full, and I have this YouTube class to get to, so let us go. YouTube Black Voices meeting. Let's get it. My question is, first thing I wanted to ask on the live stream. I told Damini that you... Literally, the only reason why she's called him. It's giving, um, it's giving bright baby girl. Bright baby girl? Mm -hmm. It's giving, I'm not stressed. Added. <laughs> so cute so so cute this is the outfit that i went for just a simple black shoulder dress shoulders out midi dress i'm really loving it here so far we are at proud cabernet they've got like singing dancing they've got drag acts they've got circus acts the food the chicken come and order the chicken appetizer and garlic chicken something 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 is delicious but yeah i'm having a really really good time really great surprise um from my boo he i don't know how he does this stuff i don't know how he finds these things for us to go to but i'm really having a great time here so yeah currently at an intermission which is like 20 minutes long 
and then we'll go back to the show and i'm really really enjoying it so far but i think i'm gonna check out for the night maybe you guys might see some clips of us like enjoying the rest of the show but i want to sign out i want to be in the moment and i want to be present so i want to have to say good night to you guys my hair has just been like kind of out and down but you know cuddling and smooching and stuff <laughs> oh i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it i'll show you my outfit right outfit just simple black dress and like i said guys i'm wearing my dress backwards i just wasn't feeling all that booby today you know sometimes you're not feeling booby at all oh but i quite like this though look at the ceiling it's like it feels like the ikea shrub anyway guys i'm gonna love you and leave you for the evening and i shall see you guys in my next vlog off to enjoy my day with my baby. Touch on my day. <laughs>